My name is Anthony Allen, welcome here to my YouTube channel. I upload three different types of content, gaming, online money, and of course, editing videos. And here in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a YouTube introduction, a YouTube intro inside of Final Cut Pro 10. We're going to create a YouTube intro, aka a YouTube bumper. Basically that art that is put on screen to show people just a little bit of your branding or to introduce your YouTube channel. This is great for those of you that don't appear on screen, but it's also brilliant for those of you that create vlog content because you can use it for vlog content too. Whatever content you're creating, if it's your stylistic approach and something that you want to introduce to your audience, of course, you can create bumpers in this way using Final Cut Pro 10. So we're going to go into our title and generators folder here. We're going to select this. So I'm selecting my titles and generators folder from the top left hand corner just now. I'm also going to open up the titles folder within the titles and generators panel. From here, we're going to find the social media mega pack from Pixel Film Studios. If you would like to download and use this Pixel Film Studios plugin for yourself today so you can follow along and create YouTube bumpers and YouTube intros like this, then of course I will leave a link down in the description down below this video here on YouTube. Click that link and download the social media mega pack and you can start creating YouTube introductions, YouTube intros, YouTube bumpers like this. So I'm going to select this folder now. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use the search content function at the top here and I'm actually going to search the word subscribe. You can already see that it is populated with YouTube intros that we can use in our video here. The video that I'm currently editing is a PayPal video and that will be available on the Anthony Allen YouTube channel within the online money playlist. Just thought I'd interject there just to give you that little piece of information. So any of these screens here can be used as a YouTube introduction that you can use within your video. I'm going to show you exactly how this works. We're going to use this intro as a demonstration, but there are a lot more available that you can find within this social media mega pack. Of course, we have searched the word subscribe. So any of the introductions that have the word subscribe within it are going to be available here. So we're going to use this first introduction just here as an example. I'm going to drag this into the timeline. Now I've dragged this bumper between where I deliver my verbal introduction and where I'm delivering the meat of the content, the main point of the content. The reason why I've done this is because this is my stylistic approach and how I like to introduce bumpers occasionally just to remind people that they're watching my YouTube channel. But of course, you can use this at the start or wherever you like within your video. Now we're going to zoom into the timeline slightly now and I'm going to show you this in the timeline. With our playhead in this position, you can see that there is a transition at the start of this bumper. If we go back further, you can also see that this transition has an alpha channel, meaning the bitmap or the transparent channel within the media is showing. That will be black if you leave it as it is now, because there is a transition with this bumper. So, if the transition is not merged with the piece of media that becomes before it, of course, we are going to have to use layers. This will make sense shortly. So if I'm losing you here, don't worry. It's going to make a lot of sense in a moment. What you need to do is you need to move this bumper up. What I like to do before actually doing that, so I'm going to undo to show you what I actually like doing, is I like to scrub through the timeline until I find that the transition is no more. At that point is where I'd make a mark on the bumper by using the letter M on the keyboard. I'm going to press the letter M now. That has made a marker, so I know that the transition ends at this point. I'm now going to drag the bumper to the point where I'd like the transition to end. Now you can see in the previous piece of media that I stopped talking at a certain point. 
This is where I'd like the transition to begin. Now there's a little bit left to do. The rest of the bumper is actually underneath the next piece of content, which is not good. Now we're not done yet because there is more of the bumper left to be revealed, but it's actually interfering with the next piece of media. What you should do here at this point, or what I like to do to solve this issue, is I drag a generator underneath the actual bumper. I'm going to show you how to do this now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out of the titles folder and I'm going to go into the generators folder. I'm then going to select a solid background or you can go into the search tab and you can search the word custom. You can see that this is actually searching custom within the titles generator. We need to make sure that we're in the generators folder. I've now selected generator. I'm going to search this again by pressing enter in the search tab. Now we have the custom generator. Drag this into the timeline beneath our bumper. Brilliant. You can see that this has moved the rest of the media out of the way and this has not affected the other pieces of media. We are now going to make a cut at the end of the bumper, but not on the bumper, but rather on the media underneath the bumper. Using the B button, we're going to use the blade tool and click at the end where the media above ends. Of course, this will make more sense when I'm showing you on screen. So pay attention to what's happening and follow along. And it'll be really, really easy when you do that. So using the blade tool, I'm going to make a cut at the end of the custom or in the middle of the custom and remove the unwanted pieces of media. Brilliant. This means that when the bumper ends, it will then move on to the next piece of media so that the transition takes effect and everything ends accordingly. Let's have a look at this now. So, brilliant. So you can already see that there is no longer anything interfering with the next piece of media. The bumper is separate to what's being showcased next. The transition is also taking place at the right time. So the next thing we need to do is actually edit the content that appears on screen. Select the bumper within the timeline using its tile. And then we can start doing things within the inspector. We're going to get rid of the browser menu. And now we're going to move into the title inspector because this is a title effect. Awesome. When scrubbing through the timeline, you can see everything that will appear on screen. We're going to make sure that everything is on screen so we know exactly what we are editing or changing. At this point, we're going to do some simple edits to make this our own. You can change the an animation. You can also change the color of the icon on screen, which is this logo that's appearing on screen, which looks like a YouTube play button. You can also change the size of this, for example, showing you on screen now, just changing the size of that play button. You can change the outline width. Of that, of that icon there. And there are also other things that you can change. For example, there are a few accents at the start of this bumper. And of course, the most important thing with this bumper is you can change what it says. So subscribe now, you could change to whatever you like, but you can also change the link that is given below. What I like to do is I like to type my YouTube link. So I will type youtube.com the forward slash is already given and then I would add my custom YouTube URL to the end of this. My custom YouTube URL is Anthony Allen Edits. There, we have now made this bumper our own. We have very easily created a YouTube bumper using a template that is delivered to us from Pixel Film Studios. Now let's show you the final finished bumper so you can see exactly what this looks like. Thanks. 
If you would like to create a YouTube bumper introduction like this, like we have in this video demonstration, then click that link in the description down below. Download this plugin today from Pixar Film Studios and not only will you have the ability to do this and create YouTube introduction bumpers, but there is a lot more available with that plugin. So it's worth having a look at that link. Not only that, but this plugin will be updated from Pixar Film Studios, giving you even more value for your money. So if this video has been helpful to you, smash that thumbs up button and subscribe here to the Anthony Allen YouTube channel so that you can be notified about when I upload new content for you. I upload three different types of content, gaming, editing and online money videos. You can also find playlists that I've built so you can find the content that you are looking for. And some of that value will be in the end screen that will appear on screen at the end of every video that I upload here on the Anthony Allen YouTube channel and that end screen is coming up right now I'll see you in the next video thank you for watching